Breaking news! Swedish company introduces EV charging roads. Electron, an Israel-based company, has mastered a technology in which your electric vehicle will be charged by the road itself wirelessly. Sweden has opened the world's first electrified road, the 1.2-mile route between Stockholm Arlanda Airport and a logistics site will now actively charge cars and lorries as they travel along it using an innovative energy transfer system. One of the most fundamental challenges that the world of electric vehicles faces is the issue of charging. If there are not frequent and abundant numbers of EV charging stations akin to the petrol, diesel, gas stations and fuel pumps, then the whole idea of electric vehicles would become unsustainable and unattractive for future and present buyers. Users of electric vehicles are impressed with the electric-based engine's performance, but they do not feel the comfort of an IC engine when it comes to recharging their vehicle. To tackle this very problem of charging EV, a Swedish company came up with a truly cutting-edge, ingenious, and disruptive technology. The Charging Roads. Yes, you heard it right, and this is exactly the same as what your mind is telling you. A road that will charge your electric vehicle as you travel along the road. Do you know which three countries are touted as lithium triangles? Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina are known as the lithium triangle, and collectively they have the largest estimated resources of lithium. So off the coast of Sweden on Gotland Island, road powers and electric buses, cars, you name any vehicle that's EV, on the go. And that too wirelessly. Fantastically brilliant and ingenious, isn't it? This disruptive and necessary technology was created by Tel Aviv-based Electron, which they are turning streets into charging pads. It is currently being tested in Sweden, Italy, and Germany. Sweden is paving the way for renewable energy after debuting the world's first vehicle charging roads, setting the nation well on its way to reaching its goal of a 70% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. How does road charging technology work? Let's not get too technical on how this technology operates in a real sense, but let's understand the basics of technology because it is nothing short of fascinating magic. Putting it simply, this technology works by recharging the electrical batteries of vehicles as they drive along the road using a technology called conductive charging. According to project overseers E-Road Arlanda, electricity is supplied via conductors embedded in the road. The vehicle is connected to an electrified rail, and as long as the vehicle is rail, a movable arm transfers power from the rail to the vehicle's battery. The current disconnects when the vehicle stops, allowing the system to calculate how much energy vehicles are using and then debiting the costs per vehicle and user. 1.6 kilometers of public Public Road has been retrofitted to become ERS as part of a 4.1 kilometer route between the town of Visby and the airport on Gotland Island. The electric vehicle serves as a public shuttle and the electric truck is being tested to ensure the system is ready for large-scale highway projects. How does it solve the problem of the frequency of charging stations? By virtue of its design, this technology eliminates the need for roadside charging posts. Also, this means batteries can be smaller and manufacturing costs can be lowered. The high cost of lithium-ion batteries is one of the obstacles that the EV world faces. Also, given that lithium is a rare earth mineral and a handful of countries have a monopoly over its production, EV batteries have also become an issue of geopolitical tussle. Now, there is no electricity on the surface, and there are apparently two tracks, just like a physical outlet in the wall, maybe 5 or 6 centimeters or 2.4 inches down where the electricity is. According to the E-Road chief executive, if you club the road that has salt water, then we have found that the electricity level at the surface is just one volt, and you could walk on those rails barefoot, and therefore it doesn't pose any threat to passengers. Not only do the rails supposedly reduce carbon emissions by 90%, but the company also says it is 75% cheaper than the fuel cost. Before going further, if this video has intrigued you and electrified your curiosity, like and subscribe to the channel and keep getting electrified by charged knowledge of EVs.
cost of the road that charges. According to the company, electrifying 20,000 kilometers of 12,427 miles of roads in Sweden with conductive fields is expected to cost about 80 billion Swedish krona. An electric car with small batteries costs the same as an internal combustion car. It would take less than three years to pay for the electrification of the roads. While other nations are developing similar systems and technologies, Sweden's announcement is the first of its kind to allow both commercial and passenger vehicles the opportunity to charge the vehicle while driving. Present Status in Sweden For now, 1.2 miles of electric rail have been installed outside of Stockholm. The road will work as a test dummy for the next two years to determine how well the system works under normal traffic conditions and in various weather conditions. There are several reasons why this wireless charging roads technology is disruptive. According to the insider of the technology, it will take a few years for this tech to be fully functional. This genius technology makes use of copper coils under the asphalt to charge the electric vehicle on the go. In order for the wirelessly charging roads to work, the vehicles will also need receivers mounted on them, but we think this is a small price for the electric vehicle companies to pay for a leap into the future of electric vehicles. These changes have yet to be adopted as official factory features by the car makers, but according to an external source, these changes will easily be able to add to the future electric vehicle and even to the existing models. The only drawback that we can see in the entire scheme is that it may be difficult to apply this technology to existing roads. Part of the asphalt will need to be removed and replaced. Now, what about the power? Don't worry, because like we said, the asphalt removal is the only issue we could spot. And as for the power, this groundbreaking development can be connected to existing power grids. That's right, additional infrastructure wouldn't be necessary, nor will additional transformer stations. In the testing program in Sweden, a fully electric long-haul truck gained the honor of being named the first electric vehicle to be charged wirelessly by the smart road. It was driven in intervals of 200 meters to test various speeds up to 60 kilometers per hour. The company was then able to discover that the average rate of energy was 70 kilowatts. Not only this, but also that the snow and ice didn't affect the charging capabilities of this magnificent innovation. The Israeli tech company also achieved similar success back in Tel Aviv. Electron successfully deployed a segment of this magnificent dynamic charging road on a stretch of road that measured 700 meters. The potential of this technology is limitless and the possibilities are endless. Let's hope that this groundbreaking wireless charging technology paves new roads and paths in the world of electric vehicle charging. This technology is sure to electrify the easy transition from the IC engine ecosystem to the EV ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Here's another video you might enjoy.